It is a quick and easy way to order up some of your favorite foods, but you're about to meet a restaurant owner who says at times food delivery apps make more money on your order than his restaurant. And for him, that math doesn't add up. Jeremy Velades has been a restaurant owner on the Upper West Side for decades. He kept good enough to eat running over the last 16 months. And last week, Velades opened his newest venture, Sushi 85. Trying to make it pretty, bright, colorful, fun. Over the years, Velades learned delivery orders can make the difference between a restaurant thriving or going out of business. His expectation for Sushi 85. About a third of all the business. Uh, will end up being delivery. Food delivery apps like DoorDash, Grubhub, and Uber Eats have grown tremendously in popularity. Hungry New Yorkers can open one app and find a world of food options brought straight to your door by third-party companies. But for that convenience, there is a cost. A lot of these poor companies were charging restaurants bogus fees. They continue to ch charge them these sky-high fees, often taking more money from the restaurant per order than the restaurant is actually making. The New York City Council just passed a new restrictions aimed to keep more cash from your order in the hands of local restaurants. If signed into law by the mayor, the apps would have to get a written agreement and permission from a restaurant before they could list them as part of their delivery service. Apps would also have to list the restaurant's direct phone number and the council also voted to extend a measure that limits the commission an app can collect to 5% for marketing and 15% for deliveries. This package of legislation helps create a more fair and equitable marketplace. One of the apps Grubhub pushed back saying in a statement the limits passed by the city council could result in damaging and long-term consequences for locally owned businesses, delivery workers, diners and the local economy. Meanwhile here on the Upper West Side, Flatus is working on an alternative. We started an app called West Side Eats which is a community-based platform where we only take 5% and we donate some of that money uh, to an organization in the community that has the entire menu on there, like everybody else. WestsideEats.com is up and running now, and Vladis hopes to have the app available for download in the coming week. And we've already got like 10 restaurants on it. We're getting orders on a daily basis. The city council also passed legislation that would require food delivery apps to share customer information directly with the restaurants. But keep in mind, by council still need to be signed into law by the mayor. Reporting from the Upper West Side of Manhattan, Ayanna Harry, Pix 11 News.